The Scorpion XO520 EVO is the new entry-level helmet from the Korean brand Scorpion. This helmet is a successor to the 520 Air and now updated with the new 2206 certification. We sent our test rider out on the road and he came back with lots of, lots of interesting data, so stay tuned. Hello everyone, I'm Tone from Champion Helmets and welcome back to our channel. In today's video, we are going to discuss and road test the Scorpion XO 520 EVO. This helmet is a sport touring helmet designed with great aerodynamics and all day comfort. During our test, we will discover to what extent Scorpion's claims about this helmet are true. We put in a lot of time and effort into these reviews with only one goal, that you get an honest review based on facts rather than marketing language and personal opinions. So if you appreciate this effort, please hit the like button and subscribe to our YouTube channel so you can continue this series and keep bringing you honest, in-depth reviews. Before we dive in, first a few general points. The EVO 520 has a round oval fit and a ratchet closure. This helmet has a retail price of around 220 euros and will therefore compete with the Scorpion XO 1400, the Spartan RS and the AGV K3 along with other entry-level helmets. Okay, let's start with the helmet's material. The XO 520 is made of polycarbonate and polycarbonate helmets tend to be a bit on the heavier side but offer more than enough safety when necessary. The helmet is available in 7 sizes and comes in 3 outer shell sizes and the more outer shell sizes a helmet has, the better. It doesn't only look better, it's also more compact and it's a lot safer. Taking all of this into account, we see that the 520 EVO earns 3 stars for the material part and when we compare this to the other helmets, we see it's on par with most of the competition. The XO 1400 is the only helmet that scored slightly better because it's made of fiberglass. And the worst performing helmets were the Squall, the i70 and the N60-6 because they only came in two outer shell sizes. That's a good start for the XO 520. Let's move on to the weight category. The weight of a helmet is important because lighter helmets prevent neck fatigue and improve your riding experience. When we weighed the XO 520 in a size M, the scale indicated 1555 grams, which is a good result. This weight earns the helmet 4 stars and when we compare it to its direct competitors, we can see that in terms of weight, it scores highly and is comparable to the Squall, N60, the Qualifier and the i70. There were two helmets that weighed less than 1500 grams, which is the Spartan RS and the Evo 1400. Another good result for the XO 520. So now that we've discussed the material and the weight of the helmet, let's move on to the visor. The XO 520 has a 2D visor, offers a wide field of vision and is anti-scratch and pinlock lens repaired. A pinlock lens prevents the visor from getting foggy and is included in the box. Additionally, the XO 520 has an integrated sun visor that you can control with a slider on the side of the helmet. With all the visor features added together, the 520 EVO earns 4 stars, which puts it near the top of the list, but scores a bit lower than the qualifier because the qualifier comes with an extra visor. As you can see, the XO 491 ends at the bottom of the list because the helmet does not come with a pinlock lens. Apart from that, it's on par with the other helmets. Now that we're done in the studio, let's continue with the road test. Before we start discussing the results of the road test, I'd like to give a quick explanation on how we gather our data. On the left side, you can see a white thermometer that's connected to a sensor and measures the temperature inside the helmet. Up in the middle, you see a decibel meter and this device is connected to a microphone placed near our rider's ear. This records the sound the same way as our rider hears it. On the right side, you can see a phone screen with the windscreen and the outside temperature on it. This is connected to a device that's mounted on our bike. The current speed of our test rider is shown on the dashboard of the motorcycle. Now that the method is clear, let's have a look at what we measured. Starting with the noise. During our road test, the test driver was averaging 130 km per hour. If you look at the decibel meter, you can see that the helmet had an average reading of 101 decibel. With this result, the helmet earns 3 stars for the noise. This is the same result as the N60 and the Squall 2.2. The i70 and the Spartan were the quietest with an average reading of 99 decibels. Again, an excellent result for the XO 520 and let's move on to the ventilation. Now, before we look at the results on the road test, let's go over the different ventilation options. The XO 520 has a vent on the chin that can be adjusted into multiple positions with a slider. And additionally, the top of the helmet is fitted with three vents that can also be adjusted with a slider. Now, at the back of the helmet, we see an air outlet through which warm air is able to flow out. That concludes the ventilation options. Now let's have a look at how they performed in the road test. Our temperature meter measured the air in the helmet to be up to 2 degrees higher compared to the outside air, which means that the ventilation points are doing a great job at keeping the helmet cool. This is a good result and earns the helmet 3 stars, placing it at the middle of the list along with the K3 and the XO 491. 
If you look at the list, you'll notice that the qualifier DLX with a temperature difference of 8.5 degrees was by far the weakest helmet we tested. So those are some very interesting results. We move on to the only subjective part of this road test, and that part is comfort. For this segment, we lean on the more than 15 years of riding experience of our test rider, who has also tested all the other helmets and can make a comparison like no other. The test driver noted that the helmet felt fine for this price range. The inner helmet's lining is removable, washable and antibacterial. The interior is fitted with 3D cheek pads for an optimal fit. Taking all of this into account, we see that the helmet earns 2 stars. This places the XO520 at the bottom half of the list. This is not the best result, but we're not done yet and we continue to the future segment. Before looking at the overall rating and the final score, let's discuss the features. The XO520 is 2206 certified, which has become mandatory for manufacturers as of this year. Under the corners of the visors are speaker pockets designed for Scorpion's Exocom system. And inside the helmet are quick fit cheek pads that allow riders with glasses to easily put them on and take them off. Furthermore, the helmet is equipped with an important safety measure, the emergency quick release, that allows you to easily and safely remove the cheek pads should the need ever arise. If we add all this up, the helmet earns 3 stars, and if you compare it to the other helmets, we see that it ends up at the top of the list, along with the K3. This is simply an excellent result. The other helmets earned at least one star less. Now that we've discussed every criteria, let's move on to the final score. Alright, we started with the material section, and for material it earned three stars because it's made of polycarbonate and is available in three outer shell sizes. For weight it earned four stars with a measurement of 1555 grams. Also four stars for the visor because it comes with a pin lock, and with a reading of 101 decibels it earned three stars for noise and 3 stars for ventilation due to the 2 degree difference in temperature. For comfort it earned 2 stars and it earned 3 stars for features thanks to its 2206 certification. Adding all of this together, the XO520 earns an average of 3.1 stars for which you pay 10 euros per star. The Scorpion has made a good entry level helmet and if you'd like more information about the Scorpion XO520 EVO, take a look at our webshop championhelmets.com where we always offer the lowest price guarantee and have great discount bundles. Also. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel and like the video for more reviews and road tests. Thanks for watching, my name is Stone and until next time.